Hi everyone, my name is Beetlejuice, that is a corner there, that means you are in Beetlejuice's corner tonight because you want to know why? It's Halloween here, cha-ching, happy Halloween everybody. So Halloween and my birthday are the only two things in the year I celebrate. I get really excited for Halloween. I don't celebrate Christmas, I don't celebrate Easter, I don't really do anything for New Year's, I don't give a shit about anything else. I like my birthday and I like Halloween. That's it. And I'll tell you why. Because I know a lot of people are going to give me guff being like, eh, it's fucking Australia, we don't celebrate Halloween here. Okay, tell that to the 100 plus trick-or-treaters I had tonight. Bitch, please. I enjoy Halloween for the following reasons. I get to dress up. People give me free lollies and chocolate. I get to decorate my house and my immediate areas in spooky things. I get to do some sick nail art. Just cause. Yeah, look at that shit. I did that myself. I get to test myself when I dress up. I don't do costumes half-assed. I always put in a lot of effort. As you can tell, my face is covered in glue. And look at my hair. Might not look like much, but this is teased the fuck up. And that's like paint in it. Mm -hmm. It gives me an opportunity to express myself. I put a lot of effort into my costumes. I like trying to be as accurate as possible. Now I know what you're thinking. Beetlejuice wore a white shirt and a black tie. Well, guess what? This tie was like a dollar. It's a stretchy tie. Yeah. Love it. Whatever. I'm wearing like fucking pants that are stripy and a jacket that is stripy, tie that is stripy. I get to put on my favorite movie, which is The Nightmare Before Christmas. Yes. It's a fun day. It's a fun day. It doesn't affect anyone that does not like it. You're not forced to take a day off work. You're not forced to dress up. You're not forced to partake in anything. You can either do it or you don't have to do it. Totally up to you. It's a harmless event. People have wicked Halloween parties that are always a hit. It means the zombie walk and Day of the Dead is coming up, which is always exciting. And it's just generally a really good day. You know, enjoy it, right? And the list just goes on. There's more than a handful of reasons why I love Halloween. And today at work, I've been looking like this since 7.20 this morning, and it's currently at 9.30 p.m. So, I always, I, you know, go the whole day, been in my dance class, went to work, one best dressed at work. Thank you very much. Sure. So, I wanted to talk about Halloween because it really fucking gives me the shits when people are like, um, you're in Australia, so you really shouldn't be celebrating this holiday. Says fucking who? Don't you goddamn dare try and rain on my parade. I don't come up on your statuses when it's Christmas time and be all like, yeah, um, I couldn't help but notice that you're celebrating Christmas when you're, um, you're not Christian. So I think it's really unfair that you choose to celebrate that. Oh, what's that? Your family celebrates it? Oh, well, you should just sit that out because you don't partake in any other dogma from Christianity. Why should you celebrate that holiday? That's really not fair. I think it's stupid of you. But enjoy your day. Saying enjoy your day does not make up for that passive-aggressive bullshit you've just thrown at me, okay? You are trying to wreck my day. You are trying to tell me that what I am doing, having fun on a fun day, is stupid and should not be done. Well, fuck you. Suck my dick. I will not tolerate that shit. And this is one of those things that I am actually prepared to lose friends over because it is one of two things that I celebrate in the year. And it is incredibly disrespectful to come up in my business and be all like, what you're doing is stupid, but I hope you have fun. Go ahead and celebrate Christmas. Go ahead and celebrate Easter. Go ahead and celebrate Valentine's Day that was made up by Hallmark. So it's totally okay for people to celebrate Christmas when they're not religious, but it's not okay for me to celebrate Halloween. Fuck you. I don't tolerate that shit. So if you're going to come at me with your discriminatory bullshit on one of the only days that I enjoy out of the year, you can suck my dick. I will not be friends with you anymore because that's bullshit. I'm not going to come up to you on your special day and tell you to go suck it. I'm not going to come up to you on Christmas and tell you, don't fucking wish me Merry Christmas because I'm not, I'm, I don't celebrate that shit. No. If you come up to me and say Merry Christmas, Kate, I'll be like, happy holidays, man. Fuck off. So I had a wonderful day. One best dressed at work. Everyone was dressed up, everything was decorated. I went to my pole class and we danced to Thriller. Zombie dance. It was fun. 
It was awesome, and I had a great time. So if anyone's going to rag on me for enjoying Halloween, you can suck it. So something very exciting happened the other day. Katy Perry was in Australia, in Sydney, and she was having a little concert. It was for a TV show called Sunrise, which is shown on Channel 7 here in Australia, and the only way you could get into this concert was if you won tickets. I did not win tickets. Being a big Katy Perry fan, that was pretty devastating. I was upset, so I was kind of going through every avenue I could trying to get tickets. The concert was on Tuesday morning, 5.30 in the morning on Tuesday. Happy turn of events, 9.40 the night before the concert, a very lovely lady wrote on my Facebook post on the Sunrise page being like, hey, I have two tickets. I don't need them anymore because I can't make it. Why don't you take them off my hands? Yeah! Winner! I'd be happy to. Had an hour's power nap. Got up at midnight, went to my friend's house. We all got to go together, it was very exciting. Went into the city, queued up at 2.30, went inside at 5.30. Katy Perry came out at 7.30 and she sang four songs, well, three full songs and a medley of two songs, technicalities, and did an interview. And we got to watch her sound check and we got to watch her dances, do a little warm up, and it was all very exciting. And she announced that she's gonna be touring late next year, which is great. And I did some behind the scenes live at the venue. Kate's cornering, so I'll play that for you right now. Hello, we are here for Katy Perry at sunrise. <laughs> and we've been here since 2.30 and it's really cold. And I'm not wearing any pants, it's freezing. And, and this is the view of um, the, the, the the Harbour Bridge. That's the Harbour Bridge. Right there. Yep. And um, there's the stage. It's very exciting. Oh, it's so cold. Oh my god. So cold. Reporting live. It did get less foggy. It did. Yeah. By the time she came out on stage, you could see the Harbour Bridge, which was splendid. Molly Meldrum showed up. That was exciting. So that was my very exciting week. Yay! And that's everything I have to talk about. So, I hope all my ghouls and gals had a really great Halloween. Don't ever let anyone rain on your parade. And if someone's going to tell you not to celebrate Halloween because you're in Australia, punch them right in the dick. So I expect to see all you cats dressed up next year for Halloween since it's getting more popular. And this is uh, Kate's Corner signing out for Halloween 2013. Thank you for stopping by. See you all next time. I'm going to have such a shitty time getting all of this off my face. Sometimes I wish I had a dick purely so that I could tell people to suck it. Mm. Ooh.